Thank God this stuff is adjustable. Cheese and crackers. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I just got it on officially here. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the new things from the Tabria Majors FTF collaboration. Um, you guys know FTF, those are my people. Okay, those are my people. Um, and so, I. I was anticipating this heavily, okay? I knew it was happening. I was excited to see it. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta, okay. I gotta see what's gonna happen here because Tabria is really, like her body is insane, okay? She is just like killing it, especially in swimwear. And so I was like, you know what? I know she's gonna come with like super sexy swimsuits and our bodies don't look the same. And she looks incredible when she wears a thong bikini and I would rather die. When well, I wouldn't rather die, okay? <laughs> I would buy it maybe. Would I wear it out and about? Probably, most likely not, because I spend my time with my family, my children and stuff. It's just not my vibe, if you will. So I was, um, I was anticipating probably not really picking that much up, but I did end up getting four swimsuits. It just so happens I picked up um, four one pieces, but they were just the ones that appeal to me the most. I do like that she released, oh, and this is not sponsored or anything. You know, I love FTF and everything, but this has no affiliation to them. <laughs> um, uh, I did pay for everything and everything myself. Anyway, I do love that she created things that other people are not marketing towards plus size people for the most part. So, you know, if you wanted that thong bikini, she made a thong bikini. And I will say the only other time, like this, somewhat reminded me of some stuff that I had purchased in the past, like the bikinis. It had reminded me of some stuff from the Ashley Graham collection, but this one just was better. I, I mean, I bought some of the Ashley Graham stuff. It was kind of ill-fitting, um, and it just didn't feel like it had a lot of thought put into it. Uh, I do like some of her one pieces, but as far as the two pieces went, they were very run-of-the-mill. So um, I think that Tabria offered some really nice stuff, and if you're in the market for those suits, Check it out. I'm assuming stuff was selling out because, I mean, I bought this like right when it launched. So this is one that I picked up and I will say that I pretty much through and through wear a size one at FTF um, almost all the time, pretty much. Including in swimsuits, I do tend to buy a lot of ones. Sometimes I'll do a two. In her suits, I decided to do a two because sh the cuts of her suits are higher up on the hip. Um, they are lower on the stomach and I just didn't want to feel that extra bit of compression that, uh, you know, I would typically feel in a swimsuit when I knew that the cuts were going to be, like, not quite what I'm, you know, used to. So, uh, I can't do anything about this sunburn, man. Like, it's been over three weeks, it doesn't hurt anymore, but it just looks terrible. All of the suits were about 99 bucks, and I used the code TABRIA and I got 25% off, so. They were, like, 75 bucks, which is not outrageous or anything, I mean... You pay the same price pretty much any other place that you're buying a plus size swimsuit outside of like your Rue 21s and stuff like that, which I have some stuff from them as well that I'm gonna show you guys. But this one I picked up because I thought it was super cute. Um, like I said, I got it in a two, so it is a little bit loose in the front. You probably really can't tell, but I can feel it. I can feel that when I, if I were to get into water or something, water would rush down this area and probably move around a little bit, but I, I didn't care because I knew it was going to be low and I don't like things to hit at or below my belly button. And this of course is hitting just below my belly button, which is allowing this little, little pop out of fat that I have here to exist. Normally I go up about an inch and I cover that and you see the difference. But if I were to go up, you're gonna see the bottom of my belly, which I would prefer to show the top if we're being honest here. So uh, I like the suit. <laughs> I like the design of it. I like the print. I think it's super pretty. It's like this light um, pink and then the leopard print is also pink, like a darker pink. It's just, it's really cute. It's different. It has the tie here in the center that you can adjust. It has the tie around the chest that you can adjust. It has the straps that again, you can adjust. And then the entire back of it is covered. So you have a lot of coverage back there. And then I would say you actually have a decent coverage across your butt. But again, remember that I sized up. So <laughs> there's gonna be a little bit more coverage than what I'm used to because I went up a size bigger than I typically buy. Um, a size one at FTF is a 14, 16 in plus sizes. And a size two at FTF is um, an 18, 20. So like I said, I predominantly, I'm a 16, uh, but just because I wanted a little bit more material here, I decided to try it in a two. I don't regret it, because I think it would have been too high for me probably otherwise. Um, 
But overall, I like the suit. Let's see what the other ones have to offer. <laughs> Is this really happening right now? <laughs> Guys, listen, if you don't know what Tamriya looks like, uh, did I insert a photo yet? Oh gosh, my nose is so itchy. I don't know if I insert a photo yet, okay, because clearly I'm filming this in real time and editing it in a later time. This is what Tamriya looks like. I'm gonna just put her right here. All of that, okay? Listen, Ugh, she's one of these models that wears stuff and it looks so good that you have to buy it. Like you have to buy it. There's not a lot of models that do this, but there are a few that for me, I cannot resist them. There's something about them that I just cannot get away from and I'm like, oh, that's cute. It's gonna be cute on me too. So click, click, add a bag, and there it is, right? Never looks the same on me, obviously. We have different bodies, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. This one just works. Look at the swimsuit. Look at this swimsuit. What the hell's going on here? Look, and you know what? I don't know why. It looks better in person, okay? It just does. But I, what? Again, I got this in a two. I was concerned. I'm not going to lie to you. There's no need to shout. Am I shouting? I feel like I'm shouting. I'm not shouting. All right, I am. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. I'm shouting. Okay, I don't know if you've ever seen Clue, but I was very concerned about this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not my first time having cutouts on the side. This is my first time where, look, I have a full-on belly roll down here. It's big, okay? Swimsuits like this, 99% of the time do not work for me because my roll of fat hangs out. Does that mean I can't wear it? No. Does that mean you shouldn't wear it? No, it just means that's not what I like to wear. That's not how I'm most comfortable and that's perfectly fine, right? Okay, <laughs> what happened? What's the magic? How'd she do it? Did she like measure my belly roll? How did she do it? She doesn't even have the belly roll. How? I don't know. Magic? Maybe, but it's incredible. And then it's so comfortable because now I have seen on some people, it seems a little tight, but I, again, because I got a size two, I think that it just gave me that extra bit of like breathing room. And mine is perfect. Like this is a perfect length. And these can sometimes on me, they end up being just loose. Like <laughs> my torso is not big enough or maybe sometimes like my boobs are not big enough. Um, something doesn't fit right when I get stuff that's already pre-measured sort of in the center here. This is perfect. It's not pulling on me. It's not too tight. Nothing like that. Also these straps, they're adjustable, right? But I think, yeah, they're adjustable and the adjust, the adjustion, <laughs> Not a word the uh, thing is in the back and then it has just a regular like gold clasp back here and then of course the cut on the ass this is really something you need to be thinking about and talking about right now okay I have a lot of cheek exposure happening this is more than I typically show in my um, you know swimsuits but this I would wear because it just it looks good right I have kind of like a flat butt with like that random little or that little butt cheek like nub <laughs> If you've probably seen my butt before, I, I show it. Um, but it's not something I like to emphasize. I'd rather have this sort of rounded ass, right? We do it, wouldn't we all? So um, there's something about this, the way that it's cut, that it kind of helps that little nub appearance back there. I still, I got cellulite and everything else, but that is something that I have not cared about <laughs> in many years. Um, but uh, overall, this suit is the bomb. And I'll say up here, it does have some cups. I was trying to see if my boyfriend's coming upstairs, so I was gonna say I should have him rate this right now. Um, but I don't think he's coming upstairs right now. It does have cups, and as you see, I'm in there. Um, her boobs are a lot bigger than mine, and I've seen other girls, again, with larger chests, uh, try this swimsuit on already, and it seems to fit them fine. Um, but for me, for someone who is rocking a somewhat smaller cup, for, you know, in reference to the rest of my body, it fits me great, so. I'm into it. I love it. 10 for 10 plus 10 plus 10 and 10. So um, this one again I got in a size 2. I would say for the first time too big. It's a little too big. It's too um, big around basically. So it does have like this little mini 
you know, kind of bra type of thing in there. Um, it's got some pads, which I'm sure you can tell because they're kind of shifted right now. And it's this bright pink, like neon pink color. Um, there's nothing that like exclaims, you know, anything too crazy in this uh, swimsuit. The sides do have the drawstring on them. So you can pull it and lift it so that it's shorter basically and it'll lift it higher up on your thigh which I do think higher up on the thigh would be cuter maybe a little bit more of a statement I guess but it's up to you and you can make it longer instead if you want. This is not my most flattering swimsuit. It's a little bit large <laughs> in the chest area for me. I don't know if you guys can tell but there's a little bit more wiggle room over here than I probably need. And then in the back, um, it pretty much covers the whole butt. It goes all the way up the back. Adjustable straps. That's about it. I mean, it's a good quality suit. Fashion Vicker has good quality suits, but I would say there's... I would get one of the other ones. I'd get the black one. This doesn't, this doesn't, like, compare to the black one. I'd get the black one. But this is really cute still. I'm just saying, compared to the last two, it's not as fancy. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna do some of the Rue 21 stuff simultaneously. Simultaneously here. Um, because I'm gonna sweat to death and pass out in this room. It is at least 15, 20 degrees hotter than the rest of my house. So I got these from Rue 21. They are one of my favorite places to get inexpensive shorts. These are one of the YMI Wanna Better Butts. Um, love the Wanna Better Butt shorts. You can get them at different places. These are in a 16 and they fit me swimmingly, baby. Wait, is it these ones that fit or the other ones? No, it's these ones. They fit real nicely. They were... I think normal price like 20 bucks, but pretty sure I got them on sale for like 18, 16, something like that. I think you can also get them at, you can get them at like Fashion Nova, that kind of stuff, but um, you can also get them at like Rainbow, I believe. Uh, so Rue 21, Rainbow, maybe Forever 21. This seems like a brand they would carry. Anyway, they fit really nicely. I got these ones, like I said, in the 16. I have a pair of 16s from them that are so big, you guys. <laughs> They're huge on me. And then I have like an 18 that fits just fine. So it kind of it varies so you know there's not like one size across the board that's just amazing but um they are a really good length they're solid denim short these are the exact type of shorts that i wear all the time every day pretty much i'm wearing denim shorts these ones i do feel like they make your butt look better you know that's kind of supposed to be like the angle with these ones the wonder butter butt ones um I, I think it does make my butt look better so <laughs> them they're inexpensive Rue 21 has a bunch of them um, not hard to find them usually and if they go out of stock or whatever they usually come out with another pair now these are the ones that I had on in that Savage Fenty uh, photo that I posted on Instagram and these ones are actually in a size 18 <laughs> and these are the curvy high-rise from Rue 21 and these ones fit me so tight uh, by comparison, which it just kind of goes to prove that <laughs> the sizing at a retailer like normally just means nothing. You just saw me put on a size 16 from Room 21 and they fit perfectly. They were not tight at all around my waist. Now you're going to watch me struggle, okay, and have to do one of these moves to get the 18s on. So yeah, can I get them on? Sure. Do I want to wear these? Not really. <laughs> Maybe that's why in that Savage uh, photo, they were open. Because uh, they're a cute denim short still, yeah, whatever. But they're so damn tight on the waist. I don't think they look as good as the other ones anyway. And they were a little bit more expensive. So just be aware that if you are getting Rue 21's, like, you know, their own shorts, their brand or whatever, they do, for me, they tend to run a little bit small. Okay, back again. I still have that swimsuit on underneath. But this is a little top that I picked up. Um, it has a little puff sleeve there that's obviously completely off the shoulder. It would look better with a regular bra, most likely. Gotta tell you, not loving how the elastic sits on me. I think it's because it's paired with these two tight shorts. So if we released the shorts a little bit, right? Because that's more likely what my shorts fit me like. They don't normally, they're not tight. If my clothes were tight and uncomfortable, I wouldn't wear them. <laughs> Um, so make sure that you're buying things that actually fit you regardless of what the size is because the size really doesn't matter um, Okay This is cute. I actually I really like this and their tops are so inexpensive I got a bunch of them here I will try on two more for you because um, these are actually all oh this one's not oh This is the same as one I have on okay. I'll just show it to you then um, so I also got it 
with this little blue print on it. Very cute. It has these little blue flowers on it. They are both, oh, the, this one's in a size 1X. Hold the phone, let's just flip it. This one I got in a size 2X. There's no price on it, but I know they were super affordable. Like, pretty much everything at Route 21, I feel like. You know, they always have sales and everything else. You get everything pretty much under 20 bucks. Um, I like it because I can get graphic tees, and I do get a lot of my graphic tees there. And I can also get them for um, the kids, like for my son and for my daughter. So I do love that they have inexpensive, like, pop culture stuff, you know? Because uh, a lot of other places charge so much money. Okay, this one's too big. <laughs> um, so I should stick with the 1X for sure. I would say the 2X, ironically, a little tighter on the arms. <laughs> Very weird. Um, feels a little bit tighter on the arms, but definitely has too much um, puff, a little bit too much material happening on the top here. The length is a little bit longer, but I did like the length of the previous pair. And I love these sort of little peasant, like feminine sort of tops. They're very light, but they kind of help create this shape, you know? Like, I already have this shape, but it emphasizes it, and I do think that they are very flattering on a lot of different body types. So, personally, there we go. I'm a big fan. And as you can see, they have plenty of like different options, different prints and stuff like that. Okay, I just have to show you how wrong the One X is fitting me. Can we talk about this? What the hell is going on here? What's happening? No! Thankfully, I also got a 2X and I will show you the difference. Maybe it's just the length of the elastic is not enough? Hold on. Overall, I'm gonna say it's a no for me for these shirts. It's like they didn't uh, put enough room from like arm to arm, basically. And so the shirt has no, has no choice but to go up. You know what? Could just be my body. Could just not look good on this body front. It's just not made for me. Okay, that's okay with me. That's okay. I don't want either one of these shirts. I'm not gonna wear them. <laughs> I was making so many weird decisions that day. Last but not least, I got a Guns N' Roses shirt. Um. I don't see myself wearing this shirt. Why did I buy this? Did my order get mixed up? Because this stuff doesn't even seem like things that I would have ordered. Oh, I don't like any bit of it. I don't like how this shirt feels. It's like a little bit too snug. It's not quite the right fit. All right, whatever. It's a t-shirt. It is stretchy. It's fine. I'm sure if... I, I probably would have gone up an additional size in order for this to be like my perfect shirt. And I got it in a size 1X. So I guess if I had gotten a 2X, it would have been like looser and that's like my ideal t-shirt fit. Guys, look how cute! I feel like a big little highlighter. Okay, I like it. Um, oh, okay, hi! You can <laughs> pull this close a little bit, tie it a little tighter, which I think I would. I didn't realize how open that was. Um, obviously a one piece, and it has like some open area here by the boobs, and then you have this nice little hangover. You know, it goes over your, um, the ruffle goes over. Does it come out of the back? Did I roll it in? You bet your booty I did. <laughs> so the ruffle goes all the way around and then it's a full coverage but the tag said cheeky but there is nothing, absolutely nothing cheeky about this. In fact, it's got too much material back there. I'm pretty sure I got it in a 1X too. So very generous sizing. I'll double check the size in a second. But overall, this is a cute suit. It's nice. I like it. And relatively affordable. Guys, look at this cute new romper I got from Target. Yeah, this is my first time trying it on. I don't have any underwear on or a bra, so it's not doing too bad considering there's nothing underneath keeping everything in place right now. Um, I just thought I'd show it to you because I saw it on my thing. It was $25 though, so don't spend that much. Wait for a sale or something because this is not worth, <laughs> this is not worth $25. No ma'am. <laughs> All right, friends, we have come to the end of the video. This is the last one. I feel like I'm actually wearing cotton candy and from here up, magnifique, okay? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And then when I take a step back, I'm all like, hold on, <laughs> JK. Um, this is not ideal for me, okay? Not my favorite um, for myself. That is just simply put, this is not my favorite area to show like this. Like, my stomach was not, it's not, it doesn't want to be shown. It doesn't want to get tan. It just wants to be hidden away the way I keep it all tucked up. <sighs> and then the bottom. And then we have the bottom here. So I don't, surprisingly, I don't like hate this suit. I don't hate the um, cut and everything of it. It is meant to go nice and high on your hip, basically. And then, you know, you have this cool little sort of diamond shape almost. Uh, but this is not my favorite way to like display my stomach 
from the bottom or from the top and if I were to actually kind of cover the roll then I have this this belly hanging out which again it's not terrible um and as a lot of people don't care and you know they'd be happy to wear it it's just not gonna make me feel my most comfortable basically uh, I do like the coverage in the booty area and then the back is basically very similar the same um, clasp as the black one that I showed you guys so that one's probably for sure 100% my favorite one it's incredible i want to wear it again right now um i had to go downstairs and get a bottle of water so i could like walk around in it did you see don't mind me just <laughs> get some h2o <laughs> that's all i'm thirsty i'm a thirsty girl it's such a cute print though like i do wish that i had a version that covered look i wish that it went okay okay I wish I could wear it just like this and feel comfortable, but with this amount of like belly hanging out, I'm not going to be the best Sarah that I can be. So not my favorite cut for my body. However, let me show you something real quick. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that where there's a will, there is a way, okay? I really like this swimsuit. I think it's super cute from the top. I just want that little bit of my stomach covered. I don't like when it's hanging out like that. So what do I do? I put on a pair of denim shorts because guess what? When I go to a pool, when I go to a beach, when I leave the house and I have a swimsuit on, it is very, very, very likely I also have denim shorts with me. So blah out. If I'm actually gonna get in the water, get in the damn water, take the shorts off. I don't care, the water conceals all, okay? Goggles, be damned, I don't care. I would just get in, but <laughs> if I want to just walk around poolside, which a lot of time is where I'm spending my time anyway, I'm just watching my kids, you know? And I have a swimsuit on in case I gotta go in and freaking save one of the knuckleheads if they try to drown or something, then, okay, I'll take it off. I don't care what I look like, I'm, just, I'm saving a life. I'm here to save a life, okay? I'm here to save lives. Uh, but like I said, there is a way to wear this where I would feel super comfortable. I feel extremely comfortable like this. All that it took was covering up that little bit. My point here is that there is a way to make a lot of different clothing work for you, and it's not always gonna be the way that someone else wears it or someone else styles it, and just be aware of what lets you be comfortable. So many of you are like, how are you brave enough to go on a swimsuit? Like, listen, it's not about being brave and confident in myself 24 hours a day in every inch of my body. That's just not my reality. My reality is that there are things that I'm comfortable wearing, like physically I'm comfortable wearing them. I'm okay with people seeing me in them. I'm fine. And there are things that still to this day I am not comfortable wearing or I'm not comfortable showing to the world, the general public, whatever and so i just take note of those things and i work with it and i figure something else out that will work for me because ultimately so long as you are feeling good about yourself does not matter what anyone else thinks about you does not matter what anyone else says about you how people feel about you is fully 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 on them that is their problem that is their opinion that is their prerogative it has nothing to do with you so just make sure that when you leave the house or you go to a pool or you go to a beach or whatever you're wearing something that you feel good in However it is that you have to feel good in it. Like I said, I would just throw a pair of denim shorts on here. Boom, bam, bang. I look good now. <laughs> well, okay, I look good before I feel like, but now I feel good. <laughs> Hi, I was gonna turn off the camera, sorry. This is actually the end of the video. <laughs> I had a good time filming this. It's been a little minute. Sweating my everything off. The whole back of my head is literally wet right now. Like, one day I'm gonna figure out why I put my filming stuff into the hottest room in the house. All you're gonna hear me do is complain about the weather the whole summer, so buckle in, subscribe if you want, and I think that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I got this in a size two in case that wasn't like obvious because I said I got them all in size two. Um, but I'll have links for everything down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll be back soon with, with something, I don't know, something else. Hope you have an amazing day and I will see you soon.